All right, guys, I just wanted to do a video here and let you guys know something. It's kind of crazy. Uh, when, I, when I go into a gun store and look around, I always listen just kind of in the background to what's going on around me and the different questions people ask. Because I, you know, I like to just see uh, what the general public is asking. And it helps me sometimes when I do videos and things like that. Sometimes I'll use that. And I'll make videos and talk about things like that. But this time it was something kind of crazy. Uh, there was an older guy up at the counter at Gander Mountain. And I seen the guy working there had been showing him a Ruger LCP 9mm. And so, you know, the guy's looking at it and stuff and he hands it back. And the guy working at the counter, he says, oh yeah, he says, uh, I don't recommend that you carry with one in the chamber. When I carry a gun in my, I carry a gun in my pocket and I just carry it without one in the chamber, just with a full magazine. I don't carry with one in the chamber because I don't trust that. So right away I'm like, oh, here we go. Look, let me tell you guys something and we'll get back to the story. Only if you're on the offense would you safely be able to carry a firearm unchambered. Think about it for a minute. It'll hit you. When you're on the defense, it's never a good idea. The person on the defense is already uh, is already going to get caught up into something that they're not planning for. Only if you were on the offense would it be okay to carry a firearm unchambered. Uh, never, ever on the defense. So, in other words, the criminal's already going to have a hand up on you because you're not expecting him in the first place. So to have a gun unchambered is just another step in the process of things you're going to have to process and do and take care of before you handle the threat. So anyway, so after he says, yeah, I don't carry with one in the chamber because I don't trust that. That's the guy working there that says that. Then he says, then he, then he proceeds to do this. <laughs> he tells the guy, and also, and I see him hold the gun up in the air Hollywood style, like sideways, I mean like in front of his face, kind of at an angle, but the, but the muzzle pointed toward the ceiling. He then racks the slide really hard and says, hear that? Just that sound alone right there is enough, is, is enough to normally make them run or stop what they're doing. And I'm like, oh my goodness, am I really hearing this or am I dreaming? <laughs> Just that sound is enough to stop them or make them run right there alone. And I said, oh my goodness, I can't believe he's telling this poor old guy this. I thought, oh my. But I just had to tell you guys that story and, uh, you know, let you let you ponder on that for a little bit. Hey, when you go to these big box stores and stuff, guys, most of these guys, you would think they're, they're gun guys, and there are some there that are gun guys. But you have guys there that aren't gun guys, just like in any other industry. You have people there that aren't experts at what they do. Some of these guys, too, get pulled from other departments or, you know, really work somewhere else beside there, and they bring them over, and they work in the guns for a little bit, and they have no clue. You know, they, they you know, they just know a little bit about guns, or, but, yeah, they just don't have a clue, and, uh, uh, I know when I, after I had bought my Glock 26, I was asking the guy, I've been looking for federal HST in the 124 grain, and he had no, I, I, he said, what ammo are you looking for? And I said, well, I'm not going to get any ammo. I said, but I am interested to see if you have any uh, federal HST. And he looked at me like a deer caught in headlights, like I was an alien when I said federal HST. And then uh, and then uh, there, he, they had some in 40, but their prices were way too high, and they didn't have any in 9mm anyway. So that's what it is, guys. Um, you know, go to a trusted source. Uh, even on here, I have people that send me questions uh, on here that are going to buy a gun that I've never even met before, and I try to help them as much as I can. But go to people you trust, that you know, and you know, don't always rely on somebody at the gun store counter because, yeah, they don't always. I, you know, this this is old wives' tale stuff back from the back from the '90s. The stuff of racking a gun makes makes the crook, you know. Uh, crap his pants and run and flee the scene and he's just scared to death. Hey, it ain't like that anymore. A lot of times these days, uh, these guys on drugs or these guys that are the, the, these crazy people or people on drugs or just just whacked out psychos would just uh, 
come at you and probably try to take that gun off of you. It, nothing's a guarantee. I'm like, who is this guy? Joe Biden's nephew? <laughs> you know, Joe Biden, the old, the old go out on the balcony and shoot off a double barrel shotgun and the criminals will immediately flee the scene like magic. Yeah. Yeah. That's what Joe Biden said on national TV. But anyway, Maybe this guy's related to Joe Biden. Who knows? All right, guys. Well, hey, I hope you have a wonderful day. Uh, it's Wednesday hump day. I'm going to try to get some stuff together for you for the weekend. This is H4T, and I'll talk to you real soon. Out, Guys, I just thought of another one, and I had to tell you this after I turned the camera off. I remember uh, years ago, and I don't remember who this was, but years ago, I heard a man say <laughs> that one time somebody was robbing a store, and he went up behind the guy and he flicked open a Zippo lighter and the guy dropped his gun and put his arms up. And the man said that because when you flick open a Zippo lighter, it sounds like a 357 Magnum hammer being cocked back. And, <laughs> you know, more gun, uh, gun myth stuff. Uh, maybe I'll do some more videos on that as I think of things because I've heard a lot of stuff through the years and a lot of crazy talk and uh and things like that through the years but yeah he said if you flick a zippo lighter open even if it's in the dark somebody will think it's a 357 magnum revolver uh that they'll think it's the hammer being pulled back and uh that's you know and another one that thinks that that'll stop them so all right guys i just thought that was pretty funny and thought i'd uh tell you about that all right guys have a great day i'm out